Hey guys and girls, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hugh C Fishing. I'm out here with Ben Pluck today, and I'm getting ready for the Bassmaster Open season. It's about to start in February, and I want to talk to you guys about two things that I do, um, two things that I think about before I even go to a big tournament, and that's preparing and then what I do during practice. So it's going to be a two-video thing. This video, we're going to be talking about how to prepare for a tournament before you even leave home. So guys, stay tuned. So one of the biggest things that I do before I leave home for a tournament is I look at all the articles about past tournaments that have been on the water. Usually there'll be top 10 baits uh, that are winning a tournament. They'll go over the patterns, they'll go over the weights and stuff like that. Some of the areas where these people are winning these tournaments. Those are the kind of things that I really want to get in my head so I have a clue when I show up to the lake uh, what I should be doing, where I should be going, and kind of the fish that I should be expecting to catch. Looking at weights, I also look at the results for all times of the year, but especially that that season. But the weights I really want to look at is going to be cut weight to get a check. Over my tournaments are two days. I want to make sure that I know how much weight I need each day to get a check, get in the top 10, and probably win the tournament. Looking at weights is probably the biggest thing that I do because it helps me make decisions on the water during practice and during the tournament. If I'm catching three pounders and it takes four pounders to get a check, I need to know, I, I need to know that I'm doing something wrong. I need to do something different. Uh, maybe go to a different part of the lake, try a different technique. Uh, so that's what really helps me uh, figure out where I need to go, what I need to do to catch bigger fish, or if I'm on the right size quality fish. So the places I usually look for these articles is like Bassmaster.com, FLW, or MajorLeagueFishing.com if I'm going to a tournament at a bigger lake. Some of the tournaments you guys might be fishing or might be on lakes that are a little bit smaller. So that's where I really go to YouTube. And I use YouTube not to just get spots. Um, I try to figure out areas, type of, like, type of cover that they're fishing. Some of the stuff that they're using, the patterns that I was just talking about in the articles, you can really get that. Um, because if you've never been to a lake, you're not really going to be looking for spots. And if you see a spot on a YouTube video, everybody else has seen that spot. So it's probably dead um, at that point. So I really use YouTube videos for kind of the same thing I use articles. is to find patterns, some of the baits, some of the colors that might be working better. And see, it's still seeing the same size of fish that I need to be seeing. Now once I figure out, based on the articles and the YouTube videos, then I'm going to start to order some stuff. But I really don't want to go crazy because when you go to these places, places that you've never been before, you want to make sure that you can adapt and try to do what the winners usually do there. But you also want to be in your own comfort zone. Like, so if you go to, if you go to a lake and the prevailing pattern is going offshore, throwing big crankbaits and stuff like that, but you've never done that, you don't have as much time to go practice and figure out how to master that, you might not be wanting to order 20 crankbaits to go try out there. Um, you want to stick to what you know, maybe go up shallow, do something like that. So always take what you see um, with a grain of salt because you're a different fisherman than the winners. You can always figure something out that's off the wall. And tournaments are always won differently. Like every year, every year is different, every day is different on the water. So just because what those people did, they won their tournaments on those days, might not mean that's how your tournament's going to get won. Um, so I'd be ordering stuff that I think these the winners were using, some of the guys in the top 10 be using, but I wouldn't go overboard and buy it hundred dollars worth of stuff if that's something you're not comfortable with you really have to figure out uh, what works for you best one of the other things that a lot of people do is map study um, you've got these really high definition contour maps on your fish finders also on your computer on like navionics.com the Garmin app the Humminbird app so all this stuff you can find a lot of these spots um, before you even get to the lake so you have an idea of how you want to break down your practice. Say I want to go fish this area of the lake, this area of the lake, and I want to hit these spots based on the seasonal patterns of what you think the fish are going to be doing. That's something that I used to do a lot. I used to spend hours and hours studying maps, paper maps, Google Earth, um, and those online maps I was just talking about. I used to do that all the time. Now I actually don't do any of that. I don't want to have any preconceived notions in my head before I go to a lake of places that I think are going to be good because um, I fish a lot on instinct and if something doesn't look good um, once I get there I'm not gonna fish it it might look really good but once you get to the lake the water might be too dirty to go fishing offshore you might you might not have figured that you might not have realized that um, there might be stumps everywhere you don't want to run or idle an hour just to go fish this one spot so that's something that I kind of do like I said before take it with a grain of salt um, that's something you want to look at but it's not something you want to get so caught up into that you're you're stuck into what you saw before you even got to the lake and that's why i don't do map study because i want to fish where i think the fish are that day um, based on the conditions and based on what i'm thinking 
So that's why I have such good maps on my units that I can just show up to a lake, turn my map on, and I have an idea of where I want to go by taking a quick couple seconds to look at a map and figure out what area of the lake and what spot I want to go to. This is my method of breaking down a lake for the patterns, baits, and some of the weights that I need to be looking for whenever I show up to a, whenever I show up to a lake to fish a tournament. So guys, thanks for watching.